Today we're flying 600 miles to South Florida to chase what is arguably the best, meanest, and hardest fighting freshwater fish in America. We're taking nothing but two spinning reels and a bag full of hopes and dreams that we can target and successfully catch some of these amazing South Floridian fish. Ever since he showed me pictures, told me stories, and rewatched old videos with me. It's been a dream of mine to go catch one of them fish. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here now in South Florida. We're here at the Fort Lauderdale Bass Pro. Our flight landed about 20 minutes ago. Now we're here at Bass Pro and I cannot wait to show April the, the ways of just the South Florida fishing. It's just such a different ball game. And it, it's, it got me, I can't even explain it. I don't even know how to put it into words. It got me just, I don't know how to explain it. I really don't know what I'm trying to say. Like I can't even explain it to you guys. It's just that much fun. It's the best kind of fishing that you could possibly do. Just South Florida pond fishing, it gets no better than that. If there's one thing that I'm passionate about, it's fishing. More specifically, fishing in South Florida. Putting these Lamberfeeties to work. The old Chevrolet legs and doing some South Florida pond hopping. You've got every kind of species you could think of down here in South Florida. It's absolutely crazy. You've got big largemouth all the way up in West Palm Beach, all the way down to Miami. You've got peacock bass, snakehead, clown knife fish, and even all kinds of aquarium type fish in these little micro canals and micro creeks and everything that run right along the highways and they're in apartment complex ponds. It's just, I can't even begin to explain to you guys how excited I am to be back down here in South Florida where a lot of you guys started watching these videos from. So with that said, we brought two fishing reels with us and that's it. We need to get into Bass Pro. We're going to need two rods, some fishing line, and a whole bunch of fishing lures. So are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. All right, first things first. We're in South Florida and you can't come to South Florida and not target peacock bass. So. If you guys ever come down here and you're wondering what to catch peacock bass on, they love very bright colors. And I always go with something like these. Something very simple, very bright colors. You're gonna wanna be able to see when you're setting the hook or when you're fishing peacock bass, you're gonna wanna be able to see that. So, first things first. Now, we need some hooks, orange. Never tried orange for peacock. I'm more of a pink and green kind of guy, but we'll try it. These white ones right here. Just something very, very bright. We're gonna kinda, we don't really know what we're gonna catch. We're here to catch whatever bites. We're gonna target largemouth, peacock, and snakehead. All right, we'll get these. This is what I'm looking for, but these aren't the, uh, these aren't the colored ones. And you want the uh, really bright colors. Usually you get them in uh, either red or like a very bright chartreuse. That's what we're looking for. These are definitely the right hooks, just not the right color. But I think with the very bright lures, they're probably gonna work. So while we're here, we might as well get some uh, some braid and low-key, high-key. This is the best braid I've ever used. It's kind of pricey, but it's definitely worth it, especially when you're targeting the kind of fish that live in these waters here in South Florida. Next up, we're gonna get some Fred rigs. Can never go wrong with a Fred rig. Dude, I got a wedgie, man. <laughs> I got a wedgie. These shorts are riding, I don't know, probably watermelon red over black and blue. Yeah, definitely. All right, I think we've got all of the baits that we're gonna need for a successful fishing mission for the next two days. Now, let's go uh, Let's go get some rods. I think all we really need is like a seven foot medium heavy uh, spinning rod, those green ones. We've bought a couple of them here in the past few videos. So see if they have that in that size, six foot six medium fast. That is going to be a perfect rod right here. Let's catch some peacock bass on. A 510? A 510? Loki, I bet that would be extremely fun. 5 foot 10, medium heavy, fast. Okay, hang on now. Trey, I know you're watching too. You already know what's up with the 6 foot 8. Dude, that 510 may just be like the best pea buster. Dude. Yeah, I'm going with that. I've never fished a 5 foot 10. A 5 foot 10, medium heavy? I didn't know they made that. That is going to be uh, what we'll do. We'll get a 6'6 medium and we'll get a 5'10 medium heavy. You break it, you buy it. 
like I was saying before I broke that rod right there that I'm probably gonna have to buy anyways. 6'6 six, six medium, 5'10 medium heavy. 5'10 medium heavy. That's gonna be the ticket. All right. Baits, hooks, weights, rods, line. What else do we need? To catch a fish. I think we got everything we need. Do we, do we need anything else? Bait, we got baits, weights, hooks, rods, line. That's what, because we already have reels. Yeah, I think we're good. You ready to go catch some fish? Are you ready to experience South Florida fishing? Yep. We're gonna be doing some, some moving. The Lamborghini's finna go to work. Are you ready? Yes. We'll see you guys at the pond in about two seconds. All right, ladies and gents, we got an issue checking into the uh, hotel last night. So we wasn't able to actually make it out, but it is bright and early the next morning. And we are on the hunt. The goal is to put April on her first bit of every single exotic species. We're here at a very uh, good little spot to do that. Just gotta find what we're looking for. Probably gonna do a lot of hopping around today. But that's what uh, makes South Florida fishing so good. There's a peacock right there. There's a cichlid, a mine cichlid right there. A what? That's a... It's really nothing special to catch. Ooh. I mean, it. No, don't, don't worry about casting. We're not casting a reel and we're looking. Yeah, we're not casting a reel and we're looking. There's Is that a, a cichlid. A oh, I Iguanas? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> it's an iguana. Look at that cichlid. Oh, there's a peacock right there. That's a cichlid. Uh -uh, Those are cichlids. Right Those are cichlids. Those are all mine cichlids. Look, that there's a... Oh my God, there's a snakehead. Watch this. You see the iguana? Mm -hmm. There were two snakeheads sitting right here. Dude, those snakeheads are so. Oh, we'll try to catch those if they if they come back. That's a good sign, though. Let's see if this dude will eat. Mine cichlid. Oh, don't say nothing. See that? Look in the water right there. Look in the water right there. There's a snakehead. That is a snakehead. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. That is a crazy. Uh-uh, those are mine cichlids. God, dude, that's how close they like. That snake kid's mouth was literally out of the water. Oh, that makes me sick, dude. They're, I've always been so bad at snake kid fishing. Come on. I'm gonna get the uh, other one. Come on. I got it. It's all good. I don't know what says that. We just ride with the rods on top of the car. <laughs> That's how we spot hop around here, boys. Oh my, please eat, please eat. That's a big bass. Oh. 
up. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not intend to catch this fish. I didn't even see him until I saw two snakeheads. Next thing you know, we link up with a solid largemouth. There was two snakeheads sitting right here in this drain, but the largemouth decided to eat it. And uh, I can kind of see why. My boy's kind of hungry. Dude's got the head of a four pounder and the body of a one pounder. So not a bad catch here in South Florida. I told you guys, every species we can catch, that's what we're going for. So let's go ahead and get you back, big dude. I know you're hungry. You need to probably go find something. You need to probably go find something actual to eat and not one of the fishing with yak packs, artificial lures. Daggum, that's a good fish, man. Let's go. Good catch. All right, now, dang, man, I literally walked up and saw those two snake kids. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I'd rather catch a snake kid than a largemouth only because I catch largemouth all the time. But what a cool catch. Just goes to show literally every single thing you could think of lives in these waters. That freaking five foot 10 medium heavy put in some work. Told you guys. All right, well, this is how it goes in South Florida. Off to the next spot. Not bad though, not bad at all. Good start to the trip. That is how fast they are. That's insane. We just pulled up to the second, third spot, some. And these, uh, these boys are mad. I'm gonna switch colors up real quick. <clears throat> Maybe this will do the trick, but I'm gonna put one of them little small uh, green ones on the uh on the hook just kind of see if that feels we've got the good old electric chicken in our pocket right here and that one usually seems to do the trick but we shall see god dog <laughs> that's a grown one that's a that is a grown one. Golly. That's the size we're looking for, ladies and gents. That is a grown one right there, ladies and gents. Look at how thick that tail is. Beautiful colors on this fish. Blood red eyeballs. It don't get no better than this. All right, let's get him back. Golly, watch how fast and just how vicious these fish are. <laughs> I love it. Where are you at? Come over here, try to catch one of these. So far we have a peacock, a bass, a bass, and now we just gotta peacock. make April, we gotta get April on hers. I've been trying to coach her through and show her how to do it, so the next one we find, it's gonna be all hurt. It's hot out here, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're on the hunt right now. Good size largemouth to start the trip. Very good size peacock bass. And now it's April's turn. Just gotta find some. It's also kinda, not even kinda, it's also very cloudy right now. And uh, peacock fishing and cloudy never really did go too good together. Not impossible. Okay, on this first drain right here, he's on the drain. Come stand right here and you'll be able to see. He's on the drain right there. What drain? On the first drain right there. You see him? Mm -hmm. The drain that goes out? That's him. There you go. Good cast. Just very violent. Work it violent. I mean, you gotta, you gotta like make him, make him wanna bite it. Make him mad. You know what I'm saying? You can do this. Where'd he go? I see him, he's still there. Hang on. I'm trying to get a good angle. Oh, hang on, don't catch yet. Let me see. It's right on top of him. Ooh, I'm hey, sorry. <laughs> hit me in the face with the bait. <laughs> I'm sorry, it bit it. That's so. good, that's good. That means they'll eat, that's good. Well, you need to watch out because you're gonna get hurt. Oh yeah? Me. All right, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you do your thing, so cast your heart out. When I get nervous, I can't cast what I'm supposed to cast. Look, the best thing for you to do 
cast far and then bring it back where you want it. Far cast and just bring it back to you. Woo, boys. It's a burner out here today. I'm sweating. Good God, I'm sweating like crazy. Jerk, uh, easy, be easy with that. Pull that back to the shore. Pull that back to the bank. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Now it clears up your space right there. You see how that? That's perfect. I would, I would, I would build that in. You know. That's a nasty, freaking nasty grass. I got sweat all in my eyeballs. All right. Okay. All right, real. All right, there you go. Forecast, same thing. Forecast, probably out that way. Just get it back to him. Get it back. There you go. Put it in his noggin. Oh, oh, oh. All right, get it out. You only get like a little certain window and it's not gonna be for long. Like if he does, if it's down in his face, they're not gonna let it sit down there for long before they eat it. Like you'll know in the first like three little twitches, if they don't eat it, they're not gonna eat it. So just cast again. I get nervous because I know how bad he's wanting me to do it. Oh, just fish, like just catch it. It's all good. One just came up and ran the other one off. You got this. I'm sweating. I know, hot and sweaty. Oh, that was a good cast. That might be the one. That might be the one. Be ready to set the hook. That was a good cast. Yeah, he might not eat now. I don't know. It don't look like he's gonna eat. Yeah, he's not. Cause I did it too much. Yeah. Oh. I don't think I've ever been this hot in my life. Yeah, it gets toasty out here. Hmm? It gets toasty out here. Yeah, let's go ahead and move to another spot. Yeah, sometimes they'll get like that if you, if you, like if it just takes too long, like they'll just see it and they'll just be completely uninterested. After that, they kind of get the feeling that they're trying to be caught rather than that's something that they actually want to eat. So. All right, next spot we go. I can't see him. Just come to me. Woo. All right, now look, can you pay, can you see him sitting right there? Yeah. You see his eyeballs? Or do you need these live? I need plenty of those. These? Here, just throw those on the ground, trade me. Actually, I'm gonna wear these just so I can kind of help you out. This is a good one. If this is your first one, first or third, he's sitting right there. Do you not see him? No. Come here, yeah. come stand to me, come stand to me. All right, now stop, he's right there. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that's a good one. That is a grumble. Let me get my bait. Let me get everything out of my, let me just set this right here. All right, listen, when you set the hook on this thing, when you set the hook on this thing, let me see this. I mean, you are gonna have to, Thank yeah, you. you're gonna have to. Is that one out there? Yeah. No, that's mine. All right, look, when you set the hook, can you still see him? You're, I'm telling you now, you're gonna have to crank him. Like, hang on, you're gonna have I'm to crank scared. him. Are you scared? Yeah. Hang on, let me set this up. Massive peacock bass right there in the water. You got this. I'm nervous. I know you are, you can do this. He's right there. So pitch it past him and bring it to him. I'll tell you when to stop. Way too far. Get it all the way back. Just jump it, jump it, jump it, get it all the way back. There you go. Just flick it out over there. Ah, oh, it's not gonna be close enough. Drink, get it back, get it back, get it back. It's not gonna be close enough. 
All right, come stand right here. Just, can you just let me just stay here? That ain't gonna be close enough. Ah, uh, maybe. He sees it. You were a foot from him. You were a foot away from him. I'm just so nervous right now, I'm like shaking. He's right there. You see him? Yeah, I see okay. him. Okay. Now, listen to me. I'm telling you. When you do this, you're gonna have to crank him. Just cast out and go. Just pay attention to your bait, though. Pay attention to your bait. I'm so nervous. All right, just get it back to him. Just get it straight to him and pay attention to your bait. Just watch your bait. Oh, he did it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it might take a minute for you to get used to it because they bite. Oh, I'm so nervous. They bite it and let it go so fast. It's You can't even fathom how fast these fish are. That is a solid peacock too. That is a solid one. Hang on, watch out. God, that's a solid peacock for your first one ever. Oh my gosh. Oh, look, I don't even know if I can hold the fish. Look, I'm like literally shaking. That is your first peacock bass. That is absurd for your first one ever. That's a big one, look. Look at that mouth. Oh my God. First one, look. I know. I gotta teach you, look at <laughs> Yo, oh man, I wasn't even recording for that. Good thing you were. Oh my God, look at you. Hold him, put your, uh, put your finger. I'm scared to move Put him. that first finger right there. I'm scared to move Put this him. first finger, put this first finger. Look, oh my God at that fish. How mm -hmm. crazy was that? I'm still shaking. <laughs> first one ever. We're gonna get some pictures and then we'll get this bad boy back. Look at them eyes though. Blood red, ready for war. Beautiful orange, TJ, green, like yellows. Uh-uh, it's moving. No, it's okay, he's gonna move. It's a peacock bass. Okay, All right, well, now I watch out, I'm getting a picture. Hang on. You don't wanna release your fish? Look what it did to my hand. Oh yeah, they're vicious. They do not stop shaking and moving. You better come release this dang fish. No, I'm not. You not? <laughs> All right, well, and that is abs absolute unit. It is mad. And back he goes. <laughs> look what it did to my hand. Hey, look how bad you're shaking right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God, that was crazy. Why did crazy. it do that to my hand? Cause they're, look, that was literally just from, just from holding one. Imagine you come out here and you catch a hundred in a day. There he goes right there. See him swimming? First peacock bass <laughs> ever. And it turns out to be an absolute freaking unit. The biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. That was your, that's the biggest one? Probably. Oh, out. that's insane. Well, hopefully we got a day full of a lot more. We've got cichlids here. We had some snakehead down there. There could be clown knife in here. And there's, there's also large mouth. Those are very hard to catch. We might have to get some live bait if we're gonna try to catch those. But good job on your first peacock. Now, let's keep on fishing. Let's go. Who's that? Cichlid. Yeah, they do look kind of similar, but, and they do, they fight pretty hard, not gonna lie, but I just I think there's ever been a time where I've come out actively targeted mine cichlids well i'll tell you what we could do though go get some wonder bread at walmart go get some small hooks and you go catch some uh some midas cichlids those gold goldfish looking fish mm -hmm. could do that here in a little bit i'd like for you to catch one more peacock though that first one was really cool but oh something just went in that drum oh yeah hang on or no you you can fish babe you can fish i just want to see if there's anything here Oh, there's a peacock, babe. There's two, there's two, there's two. Come here. You should be able to see him too, and we're, we're back just far enough for you to catch him. I'm gonna put my rod down. Hang on, I'm gonna help you. I want you to catch another one. Nope, do you see him? All right, there you go. You gotta get it on. Come stand right here. You can stand right here. You better cat right on the edge of that rock. Yeah, that's South Florida sun. There you go. There is a real fast because there's a line out there that holds that to the to the ground, I believe. 
Drop it in their face. Fit, fit, fit. Twitch it. Yeah, see how fast you got to move it? You keep moving it that fast, and I promise you're going to catch it. There you go. You got this. I believe in you. Twitch it. Move it. Baby twitches like this. Like, just kind of move your wrist like this, and it'll, it'll get some, uh, it's like a rod twitch instead of a, there you go. Where'd he go? I don't see Put it in a mouth. Get it close to that rock and drop it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Let's go. Reel him in. Reel him in. Reel him in. Oh my God, it's a good one. Oh, it's a hump head too. Flip him. Let's go. Let's go, babe. Let's go. Look at that fish. Oh, it's a pretty one. Oh gosh. Hang on, hold it tight. Hold, give me, hold it tight. Hold it tight, hold it tight, hold it tight, hold it tight, hold it tight. Gotcha. I had you. This is how hard these things. Good God Almighty. All right, just give me some here. Give me the phone. We're good. We're good. Got him. Okay. Look at that hook set. Oh, that's you. That's me. Oh, that's you. Look at that fish. Oh my God. Oh. Second peacock bass for you. Look at that. That is a solid one, babe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the colors on that. And that's a male because he's got the hump head. Yep, let's let him go. You ready? <laughs> How do you let him go? Uh, step in the water because you got sandals on. Step in the water and just drop. Don't drop him right there. It's too shallow. Step in the water. Step I'm in. Not... Just step in. Kneel down. There you go. Just like that. Oh God. Give me five. <laughs> I'm bleeding too. All right. Holy smokes. Good freaking job. Oh man. It's a different ball game targeting those fish, ain't it? Yes. Let's see if I can catch one real quick. Oh, look, look. <laughs> well, this is not, look at the teeth on this thing. Both of our GoPros are overheating. Teeth on that sucker. You can lift these things. This is actually what the uh, peacock bass, it's this species of fish, and this is called a Mayan cichlid. A lot of guys use these as uh, like snook bait and stuff like that when they're out fishing. These are extremely, extremely invasive. Fun fact also, uh, peacock bass are not invasive down here. FWC put them in in the late 80s and early 90s to control the population of invasive species like this. But uh, this right here would catch you about a 45 inch snook. Not what we're after. There is a peacock right here I'm going to try to catch and then we're going to make our way down to Miami and use a different tactic to catch some true beautiful Miami aquarium fish. Let's get him back. Now this is true Miami fishing. Don't fall in that water because it's very deep and alligators live in here and crocodiles. Almost there. <laughs> There's an orange one right here. There's an orange one right here. That, uh, my rod, the little rod. Can I come sit on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an orange one sitting right here. So basically what we're after, we just stopped as you guys saw. Had to get some new line. Go, 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 go. There's a bright orange cichlid sitting right here. And I'm gonna try. To bust his cheeks. There 
goes. Right there, right there. Oh, let's go! Oh, got him! Oh, let's go! Oh, let's go! Look at that! That is a Miami goldfish, baby. Let's go! This fish, a Miami goldfish, that is crazy. Bread, look at that hook set also, guys. Don't ever speed past the fact that I don't know what I'm doing with setting the hook on fish. That is such a pretty fish. This is a uh, Midas cichlid, and they get just pure, they're so strong too. Look at them, just this pure muscle. God, just such a muscular fish. Look at how pretty this fish is. They call them the Miami goldfish, baby. A, um, a Midas cichlid. They cannot resist the Wonder Bread, but who else? I mean, who can really resist Wonder Bread? All right, thanks for playing, dude. We're gonna uh, get a picture with you and we'll get you back. Now I'm gonna let you back and try to catch your friend down there too. Off you go. So sick, dude. So sick. Good job. Right. You gotta try now. Oh, it's you just go? Kinda gotta let it sit there and you'll just kinda feel him when he eats it. That was so epic. That was the most orange cichlid that I've ever caught. Really? I, yeah, I've caught a bunch of uh, black and orange ones and a bunch of black ones, but I've never caught a uh, a true an orange one like that. That was insane. See where I'm throwing this bread? Watch. Right there. Mm -hmm. You need to cast like right in there. Kind of get over here and, and uh, just kind of try to drop it down in there. You're wrapped around your leg. Mm -hmm. Watch out. Look. And. There you go, here, 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 here. Just wait, wait for him to freaking munch it. Some will eat it, there we go. Go, 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 you got it. I got it. Come on. Oh, oh. What is this? <laughs> that is a tilapia. That's never a tilapia. I've never caught a tilapia, have I, have I ever ate tilapia? I would hope not, because that's probably, I don't think tilapia tastes too good. Oh. Chill out, my boy, chill out, my boy. Chill out. Let's go. Ah, I'm getting spawned. All right, he's spawning me, so there you go. First tilapia ever. Ever. Down here in Miami, in the middle of the highway. So now Mach. we've caught how many? I think we're up to like five or six different species. Pretty cool though, look at that. Yeah. All right, dude, thanks. And he pooped all over me, so I gotta dude, wash that's that off. Disgusting. I know. Fish poop all over me. That's nasty. Put a piece of another piece of bread on and try to I catch another one. Just hold it right there. Just hold it right there. Go! Let's go! This way, this way, this way, out of the rock, out of the rock. This way, this way, this way, this way. Out of the rock, out of the rock. Easy. He's got you in the rock. Just fight him easy. Oh, he took you straight into the rocks. Is he still on? Let me see, let me see. He's still on, he's still on. There he is, there he is, there he is. Here, get the rod, here, this is your fish, get the rod. I'm trying. You're going at the bottom, you're going at the bottom. Get him up, oh my. get him up. What no, is flip this? Him. Flip him, flip him. Oh is my God. What is that? Oh my God. What is that? I don't know, I don't remember. Ryan has told me what these were before, but I cannot remember, that is insane. Oh my God, that is another cichlid? I don't know if that's a Midas cichlid. I really honestly don't know. I, a hump head cichlid, maybe. That is a very big one though. You that definitely need huge. to hold this one. This is your fish. You definitely, do you want to hold it or no? Not really? That's still it's such still a- It's Is it? I'm not, 
Yeah, it's peeing all over. God, that is insane. Do you see this fish? Oh my gosh. I cannot believe. God. He's coming after me. I cannot believe you just caught this. Holy smoke. I thought you lost him in the rocks. Oh my God, look at that fish. All right, do you want to hold him? No? All right. It's peeing everywhere. It is peeing everywhere. Dude, again, here in the streets of Miami, catching a, a flower horn. I think that's called a flower, flower horn. horn. I believe it's called a flower horn. We have to look it up. All right, buddy. Actually, I'm gonna take a picture of you real quick for Snapchat memories. All right, you don't wanna hold it? You don't wanna hold it? No. No? Okay. All right, buddy. Thanks for playing. That was freaking awesome. That was so sick. Hard fighting fish, ain't it? Yeah. It's crazy. Straight into it, the rocks. I didn't think that it was going to come out. No, straight into the rocks. Smart fish. I wanted you to, uh, the only reason I helped just a little bit is because I wanted you to catch that fish, so. Well, it's just chilling right there. Yeah, there, look, look, here he goes. See him right there. He's just chilling now. That's insane. Crazy. Probably, I, I think this spot might be busted though, because uh, he probably told all his fish friends that he just got caught. So. Yeah. All right, well. That was spot number 67 for the day. Let's go find another one. Random things you see under a Miami bridge. There's a whole printer right here. A whole printer. <laughs> Random Miami fonts. And then we've got this dragon right here. Where are you going, dude? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> That was a cent and a half, boys. <sighs> Off to spot number 78. All right, boys. We've come to uh, an executive decision after that little sand right there under the bridge, under the Miami Highway. It's currently 107 degrees right now. And April is not really used to running and gunning fishing like that. So we're going to run back to the hotel and kind of cool off for a little bit. It's 3.50 right now. We started fishing this morning at like... I want to say 9, 9.30ish, but uh, we, need, we need to cool off, drink some water, probably get some food in our little tummies. You hungry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Okay. All right, then we'll come up with a game plan from there. But other than that, how have you enjoyed your, uh, how have you enjoyed your little Miami sand? It has been fun, but it is so hot. It is hot, ain't it? But it is cool to see all the different fish. It is. It's crazy. Yeah. So, all They're right. so colorful. You ready to cool off and get something to eat? Yes. All right, let's go. All right, boys, we are here at the infamous Robbie's. It got a little too hot for us to uh, finish the fishing yesterday. So we've got pelicans, we've got massive tarpon everywhere in the water. And April's gonna attempt to feed some tarpon. We're gonna eat some lunch and then we're gonna make our way down further to a secret spot that I have in Big Pine Key. We're gonna try to catch some barracuda, lane snapper, and mangrove snapper to close this video out. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Are you ready to feed some tarpons? Yeah. <laughs> Look how many there are. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah. You got to watch out for the pelicans. Look how many there are. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, see the pelican right there? He will snatch you up. Just like that. All right, kind of lean down and try to just like drop it to, drop it to him. Just pick it up and just lean down a little bit. Oh, they didn't even get it. Go somewhere, bro. No. Go. He shot it. He's gonna stand here, I'm telling you, that's how they do it. Look, bro, we're not feeding you any fish, dog. Get out of here. <laughs> Just toss it down. Come and on, they're, <laughs> they're vicious. They're vicious down here. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, it's always fun every job. at the final spot of this little trip and I'm gonna show April here how to catch some snapper 
and some barracuda potentially. We've got um, lane snapper, mangrove snapper, and barracuda here in this little hole. I'll show you guys here in a second. Follow me. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Oh, that's perfect, TJ. Great job. God dang, son. What is going on? We gotta get a little bit closer. This rod is just not. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. What do we got? What do we got? Boom, sucker. There we go, right there. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, hey. Calm it down, buddy. Calm it down. Beautiful lane snapper. Look at the colors on this fish. Very, very pretty. All the way down here in Big Pond Key. This bad boy unhooked. Try to catch another one. We'll go grab another piece of bait. We'll try to get April to catch one of these right here because she has never caught something like this. Back he goes. All right, we'll grab, we'll grab April a piece of shrimp here. You ready? You're up next. They're so fast and they're so smart about biting the bait off the hook. I actually don't see any barracudas here right now. And uh, a year or so ago when I was here, I did. Oh my gosh. Good. Oh, my God. Just give him a second. Got him. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Got him. Oh, all the way to the rod tip. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I caught a lane snapper and you called a mangrove snapper. That's one I'm going to Yeah, and they them. live right here inside of those mangroves right there. So hold this and I'll deal with this fish. Look, look at them teeth. You probably won't be able to see them too, too good on the video, but look at that vampire teeth. And they will tear you to pieces. Golly. Really cool fish. Look at the teal color right there under his eye. I mean, it's a really pretty fish. These things are uh, super fun to catch. They fight really hard too for their size. They get way bigger than this too, just not necessarily in this little spot we're fishing in. All right, good fish. You wanna touch them for good luck? First mangrove snapper, good job, babe. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're probably gonna sit here and wax these fish for a little while. Thanks for uh, tuning in, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little episode of the true South Florida fishing experience. Glad I got to take April on this. One out of 10, if you had to rate fishing in South Florida. I'm gonna give it 9.3. 9.3? Is it favorite place you ever fished so far? Yeah, so far it's just so hot. It is hot, yeah. It was 107 degrees yesterday. So it's it's like 103, 104, something like that right now. But, it's all right. Crazy hot. We gotta make our way further that way down to Key West. But, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Make sure you like the video, like I said at the beginning. Make sure you subscribe for more stuff like this. Let us know where we should go next. Maybe should we go to, I don't know, maybe Puerto Rico, maybe, I don't know any other islands, I guess, Bahamas, maybe a flight that's been done on Cuba. I don't think we can go to Cuba. I don't think we can, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't think we can. I just seen it on the map earlier. Yeah, she's seen it on the map. All right, well, love you guys. Catch you on the next adventure. Peace.